there friends, it's Dominique from the Pixie Planner. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, then thank you so much for clicking on this video. I am going to be giving you guys a walkthrough of our home management binder today. Now, I've been using a home management binder for just over a year now, and I have to say this is like one of the most amazing additions I've made to our home organization. And I really was interested in doing this because like many of us, we have so many random papers that just get strewn all over the dining table around the house. And I was just constantly searching and forgetting where I put them. And when it came to organizing my recipes, I would keep them in a separate binder, but I would store them away in a cupboard and forget about them because it's not a binder that I was reaching for often like I do with this now. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to show you a lot of the information because of course, a lot of it is very private, but I did take out some already filled pages and put in some blank ones just so you guys can kind of see some of the layouts I use for some of the information. Now, I'm sorry if there's a glare right here. I'm going to try to avoid the glares as best as possible. Um, but you see the front cover here. Sorry if this is offensive to some of, some of you guys. But I just thought this was really entertaining and a little bit funny to look at when I have this out in the kitchen. And um, so I made this on Canva. And I just wanted just a simple cover page for it. And of course, you know, if my husband sees this, it kind of stands out to him a little bit better that any important paperwork he gets should go in here. <laughs> so um, made just simple again on Canva. This binder is an inch and a half, uh, inch and a half or two inches. My goodness, I can't remember. Maybe it's a two, it's probably a two inch one. Um, I got this just from Staples and also the dividers that you'll see on the inside are also from Staples. So let me give you a peek here at the dividers and I'll show you the sections that we have. So first off, I have important contacts. It then goes into cleaning. I have the next one titled household. I'm not too crazy about that uh, particular um, title. So for now it's just household because this is where I'm putting kind of all our random um, like auto maintenance, any house maintenance, or even um, now that we're getting our taxes prepared, we're just putting any tax information in there. Then I have finances, medical, Lola, which is our dog, recipes, and projects. So let's open up to see the front pockets. Now, again, I'm sorry about the glare. I'll try to make this quick. Um, I have just in the front here some things. I'll either put things that I need to file away in here in the very front or things that I know are going to be coming up soon. Like this is information for a new doctor that I'm going to be seeing in a couple weeks. So I want to keep this in the front because I will need that. And it's just a good reminder of that appointment. And then also just looking into some HSA information. So that's just a reminder for me to keep looking into that. Now, moving over to this side, I have a nice big plastic zip pouch. This is also from Staples. I keep in here some dry erase markers and you'll see what that is used for in a moment. But I use this to mark off some checklists that I have and I have them in the um, laminated pockets, not laminated pockets, what page protectors, you know, the old school ones from when you were in school. Um, I also have some tabs, some sticky tabs there if I want to mark off any sections. Now, on this page, I have some card holders, and I think these are kind of like the base bar, the baseball card holders, and I got a big pack of them. So any appointment cards, important information, like for any, um, you know, plumbing needs, electrical needs, all of that can go on this 
page here. So it's just a nice organized way to keep track of all those random appointment cards and business cards that you get. And of course, I have my lovely sticky notes just covering up some information that I don't wanna be sharing. So that takes us into the first tab, which is the important contacts. These dividers that I had gotten from Staples have these pockets, which I absolutely love because again, if I am in a hurry and I have some information that I wanna put in here, but I don't have the time to you know, organize it in its area, I'll just put it in the pocket and then I can go back later and organize it. And that way I'm not just leaving that paper on the countertop because I don't have anywhere to put it. Even if I can't file it away, it's going to go in here. So important contacts is the first section here. Now I got all of these printables from the fly lady. And if you have not heard of her, I will leave the information down below. She kind of has her own homekeeping, um, more of like cleaning focus website. And she has a control journal, which is something similar to this that she recommends that each household have. And so the printable that I have here is her controlled journal printable, and it came with a bunch of different ones. Um, and so this section is her important contact section that you would create in your journal. And so I just printed up some important numbers you know that either for family or yourself if you want to have this information on hand you know just in case of emergency someone can find that information within this um, control journal or home binder and it'd be easy for them to get to the emergency repair phone numbers pretty much self-explanatory and then we have a few more with other emergency numbers. And again, I have these already filled out, but I just printed up some blank ones so you guys could see. Uh, but I think this is just great because if my parents or family um, need this information, you know, God forbid something happened to myself or my husband, they just know where to go. And it's not a hassle for them that way. Then we come into the address book for your contacts. Got a couple pages there. And then just another contact uh, phone number. This will be kind of more for friends and family, just a, a quick look at the people that I reach out to most often, or even um, like some of these aren't going to pertain to me. I don't have any children, so I don't need the daycare. I don't have um, a sister. So some of these won't pertain, but it's just nice to have your family and close friends information just on one page. So I have that printed out as well. And then you can keep track of bank account information, credit card, vehicle information here. So all the important contacts that I would need are in the very front. Next, we come to my cleaning section. And then this is also geared towards what the fly lady does with um, her routine. And I've tweaked mine a little bit because her schedule that she recommends just doesn't work well for my own schedule and she does advise that if something doesn't work well for you tweak it in whichever way you don't have to do the exact same things on the exact same day that she has written so I've made some adjustments to work with my uh, work schedule so she does a basic weekly plan and so this is a glimpse of things that you would regularly do on particular days. So we all kind of have a little bit of a routine schedule set within our weeks. Like for example, I have Wednesdays off. So I know that Wednesdays are gonna be my day to work on YouTube and also run my errands, go to appointments, um, and even focus on some deeper cleaning tasks. And then Mondays and Thursdays are my later days where I don't get home until 6.30. So those days, I'm not going to have as much time to do anything at home. So I'm going to have this as like a free day where I maybe do a quick, you know, 10, 15 minute pickup around the house and maybe try to tackle one area. 
uh, for the zone. And I'll explain the zone, you know, cleaning a little bit more. So as I was saying, you know, we all kind of have a routine with our weeks already. And so it's nice just to have it kind of written out so you could just take a quick glance. So that way you're not constantly thinking, okay, wait a minute, it's Tuesday. What was it that I said that I could do? And you know, there's always other things floating around in our minds. So might as well just make it easy so that it, the decision fatigue is at a minimum and just write it down. So this is my basic weekly plan. And then this leads into my checklist for those days. So Monday, I was saying that is my free day and I'm going to work on a zone. So that means maybe I will water plants or again, spend 15 minutes in my current zone to do a quick tidy, maybe just get one small load of laundry done. So keeping it to a minimum, since I know Mondays are long days for me at work and I won't have time to do much else. When it comes to working in your current zone or doing zone cleaning, the fly lady tackles one zone weekly. So if you have four weeks in the month, you are going to be doing four separate zones. So each week you're doing one zone. Like this week is supposed to be the um, master bathroom and bedroom. So for that whole week, you're going to be focusing on deeper cleaning in those zones, not just your regular, you know, daily tidy or pickup, like your deeper cleaning. And so after Monday, we go into Tuesday and I actually, I forgot to wipe that off already, but um, Tuesday is going to be my desk time and miscellaneous. I get home a little bit earlier on Tuesdays and then Wednesdays working into today. This is where I have a list of things that I could do on Wednesdays. And so I would just have this open on my kitchen counter or on my dining table, use one of the dry markers, dry erase markers. And then as I'm going through my day, just tick off the things that I get done. And I always have the current day tabbed and I have the current zone tabbed as well. So I have these two pages for Wednesday, Thursday. This is what it looks like for me. Friday, my paperwork and miscellaneous Saturdays, family day, which is just dedicated to having fun, no work, just some ideas of things that my husband and I could do for a family day. Then Sunday we have, we call, the Fly Lady calls this your weekly home blessing, which is you're going to take an hour to hour and a half, run through these tasks, do not spend too much time in them because you you don't want this to be anything more than an hour to hour and a half. Um, when you're tackling your zones during the week, you're targeting deeper cleaning in general. So it doesn't need to be going crazy. And then I clean my fish tank on Sundays. Now we get into the zones. Um, so zone one I have is my sunroom and deck. Zone two, I have my kitchen and living room. And zone three, which is what we are on this week for the fly lady. And this is where I'm doing it as my guest bathroom, laundry, and bedroom because they are all together on the bottom floor. So it just makes sense for me to tackle all of those rooms together. And so I've already marked off things that I've done throughout the week. Now, if I don't get all of this done this week, I'm okay with that. What I will do is the next time zone three comes around, I will go ahead and make sure that I tick off all the other boxes that I did not get to. But you can see like this gets a lot deeper into cleaning. So removing cobwebs when it comes to the you know laundry room, um, going behind the appliances, getting whatever's fallen out back there, wiping down and organizing medicine cabinets and, you know, washing shower curtains, um, cleaning out the closet, fertilizing plants, things that you wouldn't do on a regular basis because it only really needs, you know, some quick tidying every few weeks. Those are the things that you're going to tackle, flipping the mattress. Um, so 
that's the whole idea between the zone cleaning. Now, I am not perfect at this. Some weeks I don't do much of anything but my weekly home blessing. Um, just because I like to have a tidy home and it's just my husband and myself with our dog, we don't produce much, um, you know, of the, the dust and, you know, just clutter. So I'm able to keep up with it easily just through doing quick pickups and then weekly home blessings. So sometimes I don't get to my zones, but I like to have this reminder. And again, I will leave this open that way. Anytime I'm walking by my dining table or in the kitchen, I am looking at it and it's that reminder like, hey, check one thing off at least. So I really, really love her method of creating this setup and having it in the page protectors so you don't have to rewrite you just go through check it off wipe it down when you're done with that you know section um, so I'm really really been loving this zone cleaning I also have here from the clean mama website a list of DIY kitchen cleaners I my printer was um, not working too well that day but works just fine with this so I absolutely love her granite cleaner and her daily shower cleaner I also have done the disinfecting toilet um, and bowl cleaner she just has some really wonderful recipes on her website so I like to have those on hand Okay, so sorry, that was a long time in that section. <laughs> a lot to cover there. Okay, so we get to the household, and I had mentioned that this is where I'm kind of keeping stray papers that I maybe don't know where I want them to go just yet. So I have our W-2s in the front here since tax season is coming up. And then we go into... I had some work done to my car and I have information here um, on short-term, long-term disability. So very small section right there, but I figured anytime we get work done to our cars or have any um, you know, work done around the house, that can go in that area. Then for finances, what I have here, I don't do my complete budget planning in here, but I like to keep on hand I have my checkbook in another zip pocket here. This is our quarterly taxes that I still need to file away. And then I just have here a printable from um, Dave Ramsey's website, just as kind of a visual for the monthly cash flow. I just highlighted the things that pertain to our household, and I just made little marks there of what I would do as a sinking fund. Um, it's just something good to refer back to, and I like to keep that in the finance section. Um, I also have here my information from my simple IRA from work. Then we go into medical. Of course, I cannot show you that information. So any um, x-rays we've gotten done or blood work that we've gotten done um, for this year will go in the medical section. Uh, even if we have you know, uh, bills that need to be paid off, you know, say we have an x-ray bill for $600 and we're making monthly payments, I will keep that in here so that way I can track each month I'm paying off that bill. Then we have Lola's tab here. And so I just have the information from the breeder um, on Lola here when we purchased her. And then all of her visits that she's had so far at the doctor's office I went ahead and kept that. I also have her information for the pet insurance in this section too. Then we get into my recipes and these are some of my current recipes that I'm absolutely loving and I just can spend hours and hours online looking up recipes. Um, Barefoot Contessa is one of my absolute faves. And then I got this great recipe for overnight oats because like in the mornings when I'm just in a hurry or I wake up late, I think this is a great idea for a healthy breakfast that you can just grab from the fridge and go. So I've been really liking the overnight oats and you can do some really cool toppings with it. So enjoyed that. And 
So I've got one pan dish here. I have chicken parm. This I wrote like maybe in college. <laughs> So that was a very long time ago. And so I just kept the scratch papers that I wrote on. Same thing with that. These are like old ones that I just still really, really love. Easy Peach Cobbler. <gasps> this is just outstanding. Outstanding recipe. So it is from, who was this from? This was um, Trisha Yearwood. This was like, oh my gosh, 2008, it says on there. Trisha Yearwood had a great recipe. She's on the Food Network as well. Um, anyways, so all of my recipes that I'm enjoying are in there. Then we come to projects. Last tab here. Sorry, this has been a long one, guys. I wasn't expecting it, but if you're still here, thank you. <laughs> So this is also printable from the Fly Lady. And I really like this because um, I would do this quarterly where you have your separate areas. So you put the name of the area, say kitchen. Then you walk around your kitchen and take a look at what needs repairing, replacing, or painting. Or does it just need to be cleaned or decluttered? So I have all the areas of my house. I've got enough pages here for all the areas of my house. So that way I can do this quarterly and make sure that I'm staying on top of things that need to be done around the house that maybe, you know, I'm not thinking about often or, you know, light bulb goes off and I'm like, ooh, I really should do that, but I don't write it down and just let it kind of fly this is going to keep me on track and i have not done this yet i'm actually planning on doing this this weekend i'm gonna walk around the house and make some notes and start myself off right for the first quarter so this is an awesome printable as well and this was part of the fly ladies control journal then i have in this pocket here this is the the layout of our property so I'm not going to show that and then the back is just empty okay guys so that is a look at our home journal or binder and yeah this as I mentioned we've been using this for just over a year and it's just been absolutely amazing. I highly recommend having something like this. As you can tell, it is nothing pretty and that's exactly how I want it. I just want to be able to throw crap in there, organize it where it needs to go, and just know that it is kept somewhere safe instead of just piled up with all the other papers that are randomly floating around. Um, so I've been really happy with this. Highly recommend it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions for me, leave them down below. I'll do the best I can to answer them. And as always, I appreciate you guys so very much and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.